Hello and welcome to the replay. I will be coming live in just a minute. I'm getting everything all set up with my computer, making sure that everything's working correctly. Looks like we're getting there. Okay, the door is shut so the dogs cannot disturb us while we're while we're live also. I'm just going to switch this over so I can say hello to you. Hello everybody. Working correctly. Let me turn my sound off so I don't have to listen to myself. That is a strange feeling. Okay. There we go. Well, hello everybody. Um it is Thursday night. And I wanted to come and say hello to you all and um, start a new project that I think is really, really cute. It is a project from our brand new catalog. And this uh, transfer is called Cows Come Home. So um, I have something really cute that I want to share with you tonight. It won't take too, too long. But if you are here, please come in and say hello so that I know that you can hear and see me. That would help me a lot. So, it is late tonight. I don't usually come on this late. However, I've been um, coaching my chop team um, quite a bit tonight, and I did want to come on and show you this really fun project, and maybe we'll do something else with this transfer another night, too. So, say hello if you're here so that I know that you can hear me. I'm trying to see our comments coming through. There is quite a delay when um, you post to me, when you say hello. Um, so even if you're saying hello or talking to me and I don't answer for you for a couple of seconds, it's just because of the delay with Facebook. But, okay. So, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be working on tonight. Let's see if I can get this all to work correctly for me tonight. I don't know what it is, but when I try to get my picture in picture... I have a little trouble, so let's try this. Oh, I think it's working. It's working. I did it on the first shot this time. Angela, oh my gosh, how are you? Long time no see. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to be making tonight is this cute little coffee pot that I picked up recently. I found this um, when I was at the Country Living Magazine Festival out in... Rhinebeck, New York. Um, so I picked this up, not at, not there, but someplace that we we stopped, and I knew that I was going to find something cute and country to um, put on it. So um, I am going to show you the transfer that we'll be using tonight, and we're going to be just using part of it. And this is from our new catalog, and it's called "I Will Love You Till the Cows Come Home." I think this is so adorable. Um, I don't live on a farm, but I kind of feel like out country girl, and anything farmy is just heartwarming to me, and I love it. So, what I'm thinking about doing tonight is just putting the cow on 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 the um, coffee pot. I'm getting tired. I can tell I'm getting tired. So, I'm thinking about putting the cow just on here and just leaving it like that, keeping it really simple, and. and Tomorrow night I might do a different surface with the same transfer. So it's always nice to see different ways that you can use the transfers that we have. And you know that we can use them on wood and metal and glass. Um, chalkboards, of course. We love those. And um, I'm going to do something on... Let me show you the board that I have. Where did I put it? I found this. It's not a board. It's actually a tray. Um, what do they call these? I'm totally tired tonight and I can't think of what it's called, but um, this one is metal and I'll think of what it's called later, but it's it's a white metal and I think this would be really, really cute on there. So without further ado, I am going to take this beautiful transfer out of the package. This is actually one that um, was given to me when I went to the chalk conference a couple weeks ago down in Dallas, Texas, y'all and had a really, really fun time there. I was actually one of the presenters, so I was on a really big stage and got to talk to all my sister and brother designers, which is a little intimidating, but I'm really glad that I did it. 
It wasn't easy for me because you all know me. I'm a little bit camera shy. I'm getting better. I'm live on Facebook and you can see more than just my hands, which is what I used to do. So it's progress, right? Okay. So um, if you are just coming in, please say hello. I can see that I have a couple of viewers. The transfer that we're using tonight is called Cows Come Home. It is the transfer of the day. And if this is something that you would like to own for your very own, um, please put cows, hashtag cows, in the comments and I will make sure that um, I get one shipped right out to you. So hashtag cows if you would like this till the cows come home. So I always like to start by writing on the back of my transfers and I'm just going to write the cows come home. I was just telling Angela that <laughs> I can't talk and write at the same time because if I do that I tend to write what I'm saying. So I just wrote came but it's cows come home and I'm going to put that on the back as well as my initials in case I loan this to somebody else or I'm using it with a group of people. I will know which transfer carrier sheet is mine. And I'm also going to put my initials on the front side right there so I know that I get my transfer back. So the other reasons that we mark both sides of the transfer, so the back side especially, is because the, this is called the carrier sheet, this white bit. And when you peel it off, you're going to see that the inside of the sheet um, where the, the transfer stuck to is very shiny and slick. And that is the area that you want to put the transfer back on when you're done with it. These transfers can be used over and over and over again. You can make lots of projects with them. And to make sure that they maintain their stickiness, you always want to be sure to wash them well with water. Dry them sticky side up. We do recommend that you clean them also with a disinfectant wipe when you're done. And when they're dry, you put them back on the carrier sheets. So you want to put the carrier sheet back on the shiny side. It's sort of like... Um, the back of a sticker, if you've ever bought stickers and peeled them off, you'll know that it's very slick and shiny and it's perfect for that. But if you stick it to the back side, this side here is kind of dull and it's a little bit, well, quite a bit harder to take the transfer off of that side than the shiny side. So you want to be sure to use um, the shiny side. Oh my gosh, Jean, how are you tonight? I miss you guys. Jean and I do a lot of... Uh, scrapbooking events together as vendors and well we did anyway miss Jean has retired and she um, is gonna be missed but anyway I miss you anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, transfer off of the backing sheet and the first thing I'm gonna do because it's a brand new sheet is I'm going to fuzz it and what fuzzing is is actually adding a little bit of fiber to the back of your transfer these are super, super sticky. Some are way more sticky than others for some reason. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it upside down on this and it's essentially a terry cloth towel um, by Chocotour that you can put your transfer on and by rubbing it on and peeling it off a couple of times, you're gonna add some fiber to the back of the transfer and that just takes away some of that stickiness so it's not stuck as tight as it might be. Hello, hello, Miss Jean. How is your puppy doing? I think about you all the time. And I do watch to see how, how he's doing. So I heard that he was walking the other day, which is really nice. Poor Jean has had a tough time with her pups this winter and spring. Okay, so this feels very fuzzed. By the way, if you don't have a beautiful chocolate tour fuzzing cloth like I do, you can always use your shirt or your jeans or a towel. Um, we're just adding a little bit of fiber to the back so it's not quite as sticky. So if you are enjoying this video, please share it on your newsfeed so that your friends can join in the fun too. I keep waiting to have 25 viewers because as soon as that happens, I am going to give away this cute little Here Comes the Sun canvas that I made a couple, uh, I don't know, a week or so ago. I would love to give this away. So 25 viewers and I will do a drawing and give this cute little thing away. So here we go. Here comes the cow and I'm going to be putting this on this cute little blue coffee pot. It's not a real coffee pot by the way because <laughs> there, there's no opening in the spout. So um, I actually had it with um, flowers in it that I got for my anniversary and it was it looked really cute in there but I think it needs a cow. What do you think? I think it does. So 
what I am going to do is I'm going to position this on my my coffee pot. Now I'm just going to hold this this way so I can make sure that my cat is not like tipping over because it's hard to get things straight sometimes. But I'll try. And that looks pretty good. I'm just going to hold this up so you can see it. So you want to make sure that when you have your transfer on, see this is still sticky. It's a really sticky one. You want to make sure that you're not getting any folds or bumps or bubbles underneath your transfer. You want to have it down as tightly as you can. So I've got a little fold right here, so I'm going to pull this up and just kind of work it out. Um, it's a little easier sometimes when you're working on a flat surface, and they, even though this is flat, it is curved, so you might have to work it a little bit. So far, got a little bump right there still. Let me work it this way. I just love farm animals. I, I could never be a farmer because I couldn't eat my animals. I could use the milk. Yeah, I could do that. I would like to have a, I would like to have a few chickens actually. We eat a lot of eggs and I wouldn't eat the chicken, but I would eat the eggs. I'm a bad farmer. I know. I think all my meat should come from a package in the grocery store. All right. This is giving me a hard time here because it's rolling around on the table also so let me just goodness gracious okay I think we've got it a little something right there okay there we go I think it is good so I don't know if you can see it but there are some bump little bubbles around the cow but not underneath the openings where the I see one little spot right here I'm going to grab before I get going with it just to make sure if I can see this. all right you guys are not talking to me that makes me talk to myself <laughs> so yep Dallas was awesome I saw a few cows there in the pastures as we drove around a little bit all right this is nice and tight and we are almost ready to Put the chalk on it so I am going to be using um, a chalk paste on this one I'm gonna do it real simple with just plain white chalk paste um, you could do it with ink however I'm a little nervous about putting this in the oven to heat set it so I'm just gonna go with the white chalk paste so of course when you first open up your chalk paste you want to give it a good stir so that you're incorporating all of the um, the pigments. I mean, it's not too much pigment in white, is there? But we're going to give that a good stir, make sure it's nice and smooth. And you want it to be about the consistency of cake batter or sour cream, whichever you prefer. This one feels just a, a little tiny bit thicker than I'd like it to be. So what I'm going to do is I got this little spray bottle handy here. I'm just going to give it a couple squirts of water and stir that up a little bit more. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. Be sure to say hello. If this is your first time um, watching one of my lives, drop a one in the comments so I can make sure that I thank you for coming later. Da -da -da. And while I'm stirring this, I don't know if you know, but I also have a VIP group where my best customers go and every now and then we have specials in there if you're interested in being in my vip group and you're not already and you're not a designer already put vip in the comments and i'll be sure to get you in there all right i think that looks pretty good you ready who's crying i bet that's angela <laughs> okay so what we use to apply our chalk paste is a rubber squeegee. Super, super simple tool. Anybody can use this. And when you're applying your chalk paste, you're just gonna grab some on your squeegee and apply it in long, smooth strokes. Seriously, you guys, it's like buttering toast. I say that every time I go live, but it really is so simple. Um, so you're gonna see me, I'm just gonna grab some of this paste out of the jar. And it doesn't matter if you use too much paste because we're gonna scrape all of the excess paste off and put it right back into the jar to use for another time. 
So we are ready to go. Our squeegee is loaded and I'm just going to smooth this over my adorable cow. And work my way all the way across without going into the areas where I have the words because I don't want to do the words on this project, but probably I will in the next one. Okay, this cow is covered. That was hard, huh? So now I'm going to go back and squeegee off all of that excess. And just kind of scoop it off and scrape it back into the jar. Easy peasy. And we're almost done. And again, this transfer is called Cows Come Home. If it's something that you would like me to send to you, please write Cows Come Home in the comments and we'll be sure to get one sent right out to you. I'll just need your, I'll get in touch with you for your payment information after the, after the broadcast. All right, so when you're working with this chalk paste, you want to work fast. You want to be sure that it doesn't dry before you pull the transfer off. So we're just going to pull this. You're going to see it before I am. Oh my gosh. It's stinking cute. Hi, Anna, your first time. Wowza. Oh my gosh, can you see this? What do you think? I love it. I absolutely think it's, it's so cute. I like it just the way it is. Oh my goodness. I don't even know if I'd put anything on there anyhow. There is my cow. I love her. Anyway, well, welcome, Anna. I'm so glad that you've joined us and said hello. Um, again, be sure to share this video with your friends so we can get more people talking about shocking. So, this is my cow. Tomorrow I will be doing another um, project with this cow. I'm just wondering if I should put something right here. Do I need something right there? What do you think, guys? I'm afraid it'll roll away if I put it down. It's going to be drying in just a couple of minutes. And by the way, if I get sick of this cow, I can spray it with water and it'll come right off. But I don't think I will. I think it's kind of fun. What do I got on here that I could maybe put in there? Ooh, what do you think about this? Uh, that's too big. A little too big for the pot. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it. I really think it's sweet the way it is. Okay, so I'm going to cover up this chunk paste real quick. And we will be just about done. This is going to be a quick one tonight because I am tired. Angela knows I've been on the phone all day talking with my teenies. And I had such a great time. Some of them I, I don't get to see um, face to face, but we're doing um, video chats on Facebook, so that's been really fun. So, if what I do looks like it could be fun for you, if you are a creative person who would love to share um, crafting with other people and get paid to craft, please write join in the comments and I will get you some information about joining my Fabuloso team. And um, we'll get you we'll get you all the information you need. No pressure, just check it out. If you are interested in being in my VIP group and seeing about those great specials that I was talking about a little while ago, write VIP in the comments. And if you would like, when the cows come at home, um, write cows in the comments and I will get in touch with you and make sure that it's sent right out to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to just put my, um, my website up here. Oh, there's some good information. Where was that when I needed it? Um, those are about the comments and I also have one here with my website on it. So let's get rid of this one. There we go. Chalkatour.com. You can see our complete product line there. We have lots of designs and chalk, chalk boards, all kinds of surfaces that have just come out. We have squeegees, we have chalk base, we have inks. We got everything. Beautiful, beautiful transfers. So check them all out. And thank you again for joining me. Have a wonderful evening. Talk to you soon. Bye.